Yoruba people, they are one of the weakest links in Nigeria. Hear me out. As wildly read, as wildly exposed, enlightened, entertaining, wildly traveled, as wildly everything as the Yoruba people are. They are one of the most gullible people in Nigeria. Yes, I'm a Yoruba and I know what I'm saying. We are one of the weakest links in this country. Yeah. So please, before one person will come and say, So if you're not going to listen to what I have to say, move. This post is not for you. Okay? The reason why I said what I said is because I have not seen in any time where they say something major is about to happen in Nigeria and the tribe to go to to cause chaos is not the Yorubas. Mm. Yes. I understand that the Hausas too are gullible, but I'm not going to talk about them because I'm not a northerner. I'm going to talk about the Yorubas because I'm one and I see firsthand what they do. If there's going to be any major thing in Nigeria, the people they always go to to cause chaos are the Yorubas. Why? I don't think I've seen any Igbo person being bribed to cause chaos against his own people. I don't think so. But see the government bribing the Yorubas to come and cause chaos up and down. The Mumus them. They too, they are, they, are, they are carrying placards saying all sort of nonsense. Imagine the nerve of them now using tradition to come and do that. Sense job for them. Saying Oro has to come out. Oro. Really? Today I saw um, some traditionalists in Ikorodu saying they are against the protest. She is not going to be able to do it. She is not going to be the money they've given you, shorty turn shelly a ye yini. Yes, that poverty that is smelling, that is knocking you and your lineage down. The money they are bribing you with, will it erase the poverty? That's what you should ask. If you want to come bribe me, be ready to give me a ministerial appointment. If not, we are not talking. One for in hundred thousand naira. What are you really like ye yini? One ikwe kefi dawa la le. In the bawa gbonde thousand kilo to waku. And you go na lai ni lai ni rori. If then instead of you to sit and fight for what is right, you are there letting them bribe you with a bag of rice that you will finish in no time. And you are in your jaw, or Larry, or Motor, you are called Besson Ibedi, and you are more lele. And you are like Lojuti. They will not tell you go and cause chaos. You will not ask questions. Imagine that Shade Tinubu coming to the market and telling you people to tell your children not to protest. And tell you can't let Loko. Koku Kotokuro be. How many people would they arrest? Tell me. How many people would they arrest? At most, pata pata barrier, they will lock the market. After that, Unko, they will open it. She had the guts to call you people together and be telling you to tell your children not to protest against her father. Tell her one. And you robot joke okay, Ronu, or in your way. And like I said, if anybody comes for me asking me and telling me omwale, omwale ni what I want a beer. You will, you will only have a problem with my post if you are guilty. If your family is guilty, your father is in politics and is doing rubbish, your mother is there chopping money. Even you, you are there, you are chopping money. You are the only person that will have a problem with this post. But if anybody comes to me and tell me, I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good person. I'm stronger than you know. You see, first and foremost, thank God that this video was done by a Yoruba person because. If my father is mad, I'm the only one who has the right to say oh, that way by me I will die. An outsider does not have the right to come and call my father mad. Especially when they are in my house, you will get problem. Um, we are in Lagos, and this is the Yoruba territory. So there are things we don't have the right to say about the Yoruba people. Only the Yorubas have the right to say it. That being said, you see these tribal issues that has been going on for a while. You not paying anybody wish me because it confused me. I don't know the side to go. I've just stayed in the middle. One of the finest people I've seen in the world are the Yoruba people. When I came to Lagos, I don't get any family member. I just can't. They asked me where they go. I said they go should be. I slept on the bridge for over a year before I started doing post conductor from Palm Avenue to Alatejo Motion. Now the Obama man, I tell me say, call this stay in my house. Ademola. But in the midst of all these things, I met a lot of tribal sentiment. I'm going to do a show in October first. My highest ticket buyers are Yoruba people. Once the Yoruba man loves you, 
He don't love you. But you see, their problem is that tribal sentiment. The ease of them to be bought over tribal sentiment is the problem a lot of us are having. I've never lived with the ego man, so I cannot really tell if not so evil people be. But you see, I grew up in Wally, I was born in Wally. Delta State and Edo State, we know more we use tribe person from come. We no care, we no one know. Maybe that make our language the lost because many of us are going to be safe. We know the year we get. You understand? Now, all your course is joining in Shekri, if I think nobody will listen. We don't really know where people from come. But when I got to Lagos, I remember when Demona told me to come and live in his house. In case to, when they asked me, I'm a new one here. I go say, Ruboniwa, uh, uh, from that time. He can come on, Ibo boy. It was here I heard that word for the first time. You know, and we really need to work on it. The, as this administration, they show people so. There are people who are not gaining from this administration, who are not making money from this administration. To be sincere, they are suffering this administration, but because they are Yorubas. Oh my solo joy ba or more you ba ni mi o le ba mi o le ba la ta ma campaign against it. Oh my you ba bi te mi. They will tell you live and direct. And these people saying it's not even literate. They are very enlightened people. Yeah, I love the loyalty amongst them. How they stand for each other. I tell this one every time. Say go back to your state. Go back to your state. The man telling you to go back to your state is not from Lagos State too. But in Lagos, I will tell you feel oh my you ba bi te wani. It's okay. I love that their loyalty, but the tribal sentiment meant against other tribes is a menace that needs to be nipped now. The easiest way to buy a Yoruba for that is just tell if you are Yoruba. Even if you are doing the bad thing, it will stand by you. Not everybody, but a lot of them are. And a lot of Yorubas will agree with me. So, long story short, I'm in love with the Yoruba culture. The Yoruba people have always been there for me. They are wonderful people. During the civil war, when Igbo people long go their village, Yoruba people keep some of their houses for them. Collect rent for them. When they come back, they give them their rent. The only problem is this tribal sentiment. At the time when I was living in Salami Yua Street, number two, Salami Yua Street, Taco Post of K2, I started squatting with a Calabar guy, you know. That Yoruba person bring me come, but this Calabar guy and a younger guy, you know, his name was Marcos, we were younger, everybody were younger, and this is my Ademola now. His family were quite older than me, so normally I just gravitate towards these younger guys. One time, me and his sister get fight for inside the house. Marcos stood by me because he believed I was coming. He gave one papa for the company, then a papa, pardon. When the matter happened, when he called here, the matter, you know what he said, Marcos? He said to you, I don't know if you get me. Me and Marcos' sister get problem. Marcos now get the answer of this thing. He stood by me. He said his sister was wrong. But when papa, pardon, come on, he told you, I don't know if you get the answer of this thing. He not talk a high, he talk a problem for us. He said, I don't know if you get the answer of this thing. That thing, we need to work on it. We need to work on it. As for Tinubu's daughter, <laughs> telling people to go and advise their children not to protest against her father. Any mother that listens to that advice is the stupid mother, not be gullible. The God will not understand me. Now, stupidity. I'm not being niches now. Stupidity. You both pick in at 25, 27, 30. Your pick is the day you have to eat your food. Then they tell you when you tell them, you're not going to protest. They have destroyed his future today. They are 25, 27, 30. They still sit down your house. I am in my 30s. The people I grew up with in worry, when I go back to his layout, they still did their papa house. Some of the senior meal. When my mom come Lagos, she did my house. Sometimes she won't buy something. So I'll say, no. You did my house. I'm supposed to take care of you. He said, ah, Jimmy, you know, because God, even the hair person, for worrying your mates, still the people ask when they sit down, they defeat them. That's how terrible they have destroyed my generation. And they're telling you to tell your children not to protest. You, Mugu, you they buy them. Okay. <laughs> and continue. Ojima, clear last, last in Nigeria. Hey, here you come, come. 